I am interviewing you because I think it's important first and foremost for all of us to understand your journey because you have such a powerful presence with all of us. Your presence is off the Richter scale. So uh, I want to know. Uh, <laughs> I'm just yeah. making me smile. <laughs> well, it's it's the truth, you know. It's the truth. You you have such a powerful presence, and you're so you're so your conviction is so powerful that it's contagious. Okay? So I think it's. I want to know. I want to know when did you start this journey? Uh, how did you get into it? Um, how long? You know, just the whole nine. Just just take us I'm, from the beginning. I'm, where were you? I'm ready. You I'm rocking before? with you. What, what, what were you doing before real estate? How about that? Well, I am, um, I'm one of those guys that's the jack of all trades. And I used to be embarrassed by the phrase, I'm a jack of all trades, you know, yeah. master yeah. of none. And uh, it, it, over the pandemic, I learned the rest of that phrase. And I, I began to, to embrace that. I don't know if you've ever heard the whole phrase, but it's jack of all trades, master of none but overall better than master of one. Mm, wow. I hadn't heard that last and, part. Yeah. And I didn't either. And, and it's so like, you know, the, the Jack of all trades nomiker is given as almost like an insult. Like, you know, oh yeah, he's a Jack of all trades, you know, la, 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 la. He doesn't do anything. Well, yeah. I, I didn't finish. I, I, you know, I'm a GED guy. I didn't finish high school. I dropped out so I could work. Um, I got fed up with high school, to be honest with you. It was, there were a lot of rules there that didn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. And I, I, it, like the, the output wasn't matching the input that they were expecting from me. And so I left high school and, and started working. And, and almost every job that I have ever had in my entire life was one yeah. that was created for me. Uh -huh. Interesting. OK, so so I didn't fit into anybody's mold. And they was like, did you ever see the, the movie Jerry Maguire? Show me the yeah. money. Yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know if you remember what Cuba Gooding's line was, but he was like, you got to have that Quan. Right. And he's mm. like, you know what the Quan is? It's like, you got to have that Quan. <laughs> well, that's what was explained to me is like, say, cool, you have the Quan. Mm. We know you're valuable. We just don't know where to put you. Mm. Wow. Wow. So my whole professional career has been, we, we know we want you. We just don't know where to put you. We don't know where you're going to fit. We don't know how to use you. Mm -hmm. And um, about maybe 15 years ago, a little bit more than that, maybe 20 years ago, yeah, I said to myself, I was never writing another resume again in my life. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Okay. And to this date, I have never written another resume. People ask me for my CV and all of that. They try to give it another name. I said, no, that's a resume. I'm not doing it. We're going to <laughs> we're gonna have to figure out another way. Mm. I'll give you a bio, maybe, but I'm not doing another resume. You're not doing the resume, right? <laughs> I'm not doing it. And I kept my vow, right? I did. When my son, when my youngest son was born, so I have five kids. Everybody okay. makes fun of me. They're like, brother, you ain't never retiring. I'm like, I'm black, rich, and spoiled. I just don't have no money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you. When my youngest son was born, he was a preemie. Okay. And so for three months, we sp I spent three months, 24 hours a day in the hospital. Uh, you know, I yeah. never left his side. And yeah. uh, I lost my job at my real estate company I was doing some I was doing the training and the coaching and the recruiting at this real estate company I won't mention any names because they didn't do me wrong it's just that it was just the wrong timing you know what I mean right yeah sure, sure. and uh so I lost my job there and my brother who's also an entrepreneur he has a, a decorative painting company she was like come on and put this paint on his walls with me we all we have resources mm -hmm. and um I was there for two weeks and taking calls, real estate calls while I was on the wall. I was messing up the walls, taking my real estate calls. 
<laughs> he was like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and fire you so that you can go back and do what you do better than this. <laughs> And I I haven't had to look back since, man. It's, uh, you know, it's uh-huh. another, like 10 years ago, I, I painted a wall for two weeks. And, you know, I'm back into real estate again. And um, that's what I've been doing. That's what I did before real estate. I was I was in fundraising and development. I did everything from driving a, a, a truck, a cube truck, to theatrical lighting. I kept wow. trying to find my niche. Mm-hmm. And I've never done anything as well as I've done this game. Yeah. This real estate game, it's changed my life. It's created resources. I've employed my friends, my family. Uh, um, it, it's, I, I've been a commissioned, a commissioned employer. I mean, I, I've been a, com, a, how do I say, a commissioned income earner. Sure. For, sure. for 20, for 25 years. It's raised yeah. my kids. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's raised my family. So, that's where all the passion well, comes from, man. I, I, so would you say you're, well, no, you tell us your big why, because, you know, it's a big why that drives you. Right. So, so my big why, let, let me, I could give you the, the, the BS public relations version of my, <laughs> of my big why, right? Or I could give you the, the, the sort of deeper realistic. I like being rich. Yeah. Okay. I like being rich because it provides, I like to build tables for people to pull up to. Mm-hmm. Right. My, my, my community is, I, I was born and raised in Harlem. Right. But I was, I, I like to say I was born in Harlem and raised all over the world. Right. Yeah. yeah. My community is one of those communities that, that see affluence and despair one block to another. Right. Yep. Yep. And um, I, I've I've been taught by some of the the wisest people in the world um, that you know y- you can't do for your community if you don't do for yourself. That's right. So m- my big why is to make sure that my resources are abundant and overflowing because I like to give it all away. Right. That's right. I like to give it all away, and so. I, I am on a mission. I have three missions that I share with people. I have a personal mission to be able to donate resources without any pain to my friends, family, or college. I want to help all the families that I can to realize the dream of home ownership. Mm. And I want to make every single agent in my ecosystem, every single agent that leans in on my coaching or my, my presence, I want to turn them into millionaires so we can yes. multiply this effect. Yes. Yes. That's and, it. And that's my, that's the biggest why I have. And I'm obsessed with my yes. mission. Yes. Yes. And it, it, I'm telling you, it's contagious. It's, 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 yes. it's, I don't know how to describe it, but the very first time I saw your face in our mastermind and you spoke, <laughs> you spoke, and I, I can't even remember what you were speaking about, but it was so, your aura and your energy was so powerful and, and so magnetic. Let's just call it magnetic. And, and I, I, watched, I, love it. Thank you. I watched the people in, in our group and in our room and I see you. I mean, I've been following you in social and I see what you're doing when you're doing these, these open houses these virtual open houses in all these different states. And I'm like, look at this brother right here. And everybody has the same, is impacted in the same way with you, you know? So yeah. there's there's something very powerful about your, that passion. You know, you referred to the, the glossy one, but there, forget about the glossy one, the real one. That's the real deal right there. And and I have to I have good. to say I have to say I I am on that same mission, okay. I, it feels on, good. It feels real good, and you know, but you got to start with mindset first. So let's just talk about this this for a moment because what are the some of the things I'd like you to share with us? What are the some of the things that you do to keep you in that zone? I don't try to stay in the zone. 
the first thing is that I don't try to stay in the zone. It's an unsustainable energy. I, ah, man, how do I say this, man? I, I, so my family is connected, you know, to the African roots and to the Native American roots and things like that. And one of the, the, the more powerful uh, parables that I've heard from the Native American side of the family is like, you know, there's two wolves, a good wolf and a bad wolf, and they're fighting in the, 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 the forest. And the young brother says, you know, well, which wolf is going to win? And the older brother says, the one that you feed the most. Mm-hmm. Right. And so I am both the good wolf and the bad wolf, man. I, I and depending on what I'm feeding at the moment, my mindset. I think the, the strongest part of my mindset is that I allow myself to be weak. Uh, OK. Okay. So, so one of the brothers that I'm coaching is a brother named Lee Phillips. He calls, he calls himself the six, five realtor guy, you know, right. He's a tall brother, right? Yeah. A big old deep voice. Um, <laughs> in his journey, he, he talked about a training that he went to where the guy says, you know, you guys are really amazing, but I wish you were just a little bit dumber. Mm. Right. Mm. And if you're a little bit dumber, if you, if you, if you dumb yourself down a little bit, you'll ask more questions and you become the smartest person in the world. Right. Yeah. And so my mindset, rather than me being unshakable, I, I look at the scenarios where, like, I had a terrible summer last summer. Last <laughs> summer, every day, there was something else that was just, just testing my resolve. And, and, you know, I don't give up, right? So I'm going to win. I just <laughs> need to figure out how to win, right? Yeah. And yeah. so when... When things come my way that look to shake my mindset, that look to shake my foundation, I take the path of the buffalo. And so I got one more parable for you. Okay. On the plains of America, there's these huge, terrible storms, right? There's nothing to block it out there. The amber waves of green just getting knocked around by the storm. There are, there are bulls and there are buffaloes. Mm. The bulls run away from the storm. They sense the storm coming and they start running as fast as they can away from the storm. But of course you can't sustain that. You get tired and the storm is still going to hit you. You still experience the storm, but because you're running away from it, not only do you experience the fatigue of running, but you still experience the storm and you probably experience it longer because you're trying to run away from it. Right. The Buffalo sense the same storm and turn and face it and run into it. Mm. Hmm. They, they experience the storm, it's tremendous, but they only experience it for a short amount of time. They don't have to keep running, they could stop on the other end of the storm and it's over. Uh-huh. I choose the path of the buffalo. Yeah. So my yeah. mindset is always the path of the buffalo. I hope That's that makes not... sense, it wasn't too yes. deep. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. No, you're, you're just gonna blaze right through it, you know? And that's, I'm just gonna that's blaze right through it. Yeah. So we, there's so, so many of my friends wrote from from I'm sorry Tony but this this is there's so many of my friends that are gone now mm-hmm. and you know most of them I thought we were all going to be gone from violence right because I came up in a really tough time and you know violent 70s and 80s you know we was wilding out yeah. but a lot of my friends have died from kidney disease and and diabetes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they just didn't have the resources. Yeah. So the way I figure it, if the worst thing you're going to do to me is hang up on me or tell me no, I can do that all day long. There's, not, there's nothing challenging my mindset there. Yeah. The only thing that I worry about is making sure that I show up for the people in my life. And that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, and you do that. So... I, working on it every day. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have any kind of routine you go through when you get up when you start your day? What 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 does that look like? To say cool. You, you, you'll hear me talk about my business in the analogy of the bakery, and I get up and make the donuts every day. Mm-hmm. And most of the stuff I do, I do before I open the door. Right, right. you have to bake your stuff, and, right? So I'm up at quarter to five every morning, not on some altruism. I'm not super spiritual or anything <laughs> like that. I get up at quarter to five and I do, the, I did mention that I have five kids. So there's really the only time that I have to myself That's is right. when everyone else is asleep. 
podcasts. Um, I I read, I watch movies or television or something like that. It's not like a, it's not a whole lot of deep stuff happening there, right? Yeah. Every yeah. once in a while, I I'll, I'll muster the strength to meditate or hit the gym. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> once I start working, I go through this process that is the exact same process I've done every day for the last fifteen years, every weekday for the mm. last fifteen years. Mm. I ask myself the three most important questions in the morning. Mm-hmm. I'll share them with you. I ask myself three most important questions in the morning. I ask my business three questions in the morning. And then I ask myself if there's anything that I think could stop me from hitting my goals. And then I address that first thing in the morning. Uh, I put together whatever list I'm going to call. I am, I am unapologetic. I do not edit my list. If it's a list of physicals, I'm going to call the whole list. I don't care how far away they are or close they are. Spies yeah. for sale by owners, it doesn't matter to me. I have a list of agents that I think are out of my reach, mm-hmm. right? They're, 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 they're super productive. There's, I, I call them the power five. I, I figure out which two I'm going to talk to today or give the best shot to talk to. Wow. I, all of this is before eight. By eight o'clock, I'm on the phones. I'm sending out text messages. Every single day, my pattern is to make at least 200 contacts a day, by all means wow. necessary. Wow. That is powerful. I recognize that 90% of my efforts is no, and I like to win every day. I like to put a contract together every day. So mm. I go about my day to get my appointments to the point where I can fail at most of them and still wind up with at least one contract a day. Wow. Wow. Okay. And then I go that way until I hit noon at noon. I unplug from everything. I decompress. I ask my business three more questions, right? They're the audit questions, right? Yes. Um, and then I go into my admin start of the day. I'm not good at it. So I've hired a couple of admin. So I just meet with my admin once a day to figure out if there's any fires I got to put out, if there's anything that I can help them with, or if there's anything that I have to take care of myself. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And, and I, I'm going to mention these questions now because this is a million dollars worth of coaching and anybody that wants to use this, this is <laughs> awesome. Right. So you, you go to your admin and you ask your admin, are there any fires that need a license to put out? Right. Mm. So anything that I have wow. to take care of with my license. Wow. Right. Yeah. You'll find that a lot of the stuff that you, they try to give back to you, and I'm not blaming them for it. It's just yeah. this is the nature of the beast. Doesn't need a license, so therefore doesn't need me. That's right. Right. I love that. Then I ask them if there's anything that they're working on that I can help them with. Right. So something that doesn't need a license they're working on, but you know, if I if I help them, it's going to make it easier. Yes. Right. And then the last question, and this is the million dollar question, is there anything you don't want me to know about? Wow. That's right. So those are emergencies that they can take care of, yeah. but are getting out of hand. And if I give them the, the, the pressure relief of just being like, you know, talk to me, tell me, this is the opportunity to let me know the stuff that's getting out of control. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Mm, it, it works like it. gangbusters. Yeah, man, it works like gangbusters. And then last but not least, from 3 p.m. to to 6 p.m. is my appointment window. I set all my appointments in there. And then 6 o'clock, I have the soft close. Mm -hmm. And by 7 o'clock, I have my hard close. Usually it goes to 8, but, you know, it's supposed to be a hard close at 7. And then I'm all family from from 8 o'clock on. And then we re-up and do it again. Wow. We re-up and do it again. Thank you so much for sharing that because there was a mm-hmm. lot of lot of value there okay those questions are, are are golden and i'm going yeah. to i'm going to start using those questions myself it, 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 they're, they're simple and it gives the other person the chance to sort of prioritize their work and that's i think the most important thing for my assistant to do is yeah. to prioritize their work mm-hmm. you know? how many assistants do you In have the, that, that you're working with how many would, would you say I have three. I'm working on a fourth. So you got to understand that my business has two. It's like a, 
it's bipolar, right? Like, so I've got <laughs> the productive business where I'm doing real estate yep. that needs a transaction coordinator and uh, a, a, an assistant that way, yep. right? And then I have my coaching business where I'm dealing with a bunch of agents and that's like herding cats and spinning mm-hmm. place at the same time. Mm-hmm. So I have my accountability coach who's an, or an assistant and then yeah. my assist, my personal assistant there. And uh, the, I actually lost one of my assistants over the holidays and my life is like insane. So I'm looking to hire another assistant. So if you know somebody that's powerful, you know, okay. we'll be able to do it. I do mostly domestic assistance and not overseas the way that I used to. I used to do yeah. overseas. My personal assistant can be an overseas assistant, but the uh, the 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 coaching and the productive assistants that are dealing with transactions and yeah. dealing with the people here, I, I have to go domestic for it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I understand okay. that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'll I tell mentioned you. I mentioned that I mentioned at the beginning of the day. I just want to just point this out. I mentioned at yeah. the beginning of the day. I do this exercise called the three most important questions. And I got this from a book called the code of the extraordinary mind. I can't tell you the brother's name. Lock vision. Lakiani, I think is how you pronounce it. Vision is his name. The code of the extraordinary mind. And the three most important questions is what do I want to achieve? What do I need to do? What do I need to learn in order to achieve it? Or who do I need to become in order to achieve it? And then how does the world change when I do achieve it? Mm -hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Whoa. I tell you right now, those questions changed my world. Who, who, yeah. You know, what do I want to do? Who do I have to become? And how does the world change? Wow. That's powerful. Powerful. Yeah, it, it keeps you from thinking too small. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. It really does elevate. I mean, you have to level up to, when you start talking about changing the world, and a lot of times yeah. you hear that and you think, oh, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> but that's how we have to think, okay? Yes. We, we, we are, we are <laughs> servants. We are here for a reason. We are right? the ultimate servants we because I don't care ultimate. what is going on. Mm-hmm. You got to live somewhere. That's right. I don't Ooh. care what you do. I don't care how professional you are. I don't care what you eat. I don't care what your lifestyle is. You got to live somewhere. And that's us. Yes. That is us. All day long. We provide we provide the place to put your head when you're filled with the ideas that you go out and change the world with. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. That's Let what I'm go. talking about. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. Let's go. You know, I got to tell you, uh, I want to talk. Now we we gonna we gonna shift a little bit here because okay I'm with you I know that you were with the company we were with the same company okay yes ma'am uh, yes ma'am and you you really were very successful in that space and mm-hmm. you you had something shifted and you made this change over to EXP and I want to know. What transpired? What came up? What was the driving factor for you? Because you were doing so well with the, with your yeah. previous broker. I mean, so, so well. So we had an expansion team. We had an yep. expansion team. We had grown it to nine different locations along the East Coast. And we had 67 agents that we were working with. It was, it was just powerful. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were uh, a, a mega team, so you know we capped. You know that the, the team leaders capped every year. Yeah. There, there was never a doubt about it. Um, what happened for us? What happened for me? There's 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 a couple of different directions. I'm going to be most direct with it. Yeah. I always look for. I always look at leadership. Right. I want to know who's in charge. I want to know who's leading the ship. You know the direction that we're going in. And I was looking for diversity in leadership. Yes. And there was okay. none. Ah. There was no diversity in leadership. Wow. As a matter of fact, when I asked the question, it, it was almost as if I was asking as a joke, you know, people laughing and stuff like that. I'm like, no, I'm serious. Like, you know, where's yeah. the diversity in leadership? Where are the people yeah. of color? Where are the LGBT? Where are the women? Where are the... the, 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 the right. That's right. 
And then the the straw that broke the camel's back for mm. me was that the audio and the visu- the video never matched up. They, okay. they it was supposed to say, like they would say this thing and and win win no matter what and you know blah blah like all of this stuff that was supposed to be and that stuff sounded powerful. Yes. Right. You, you get over a hundred percent commission because of your your profit share and I'm I'm giving it away where we were, right? <laughs> and all of this other stuff, right? And like once I learned how the 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 mechanism was supposed to operate, what it was supposed to look like, it made me angrier based on the way it really was. Okay. And so I gave my last uh, owner, the last <laughs> owner that talked to me, um, was like, you know, kind of doom and gloom. And I was like, you know, what's funny is that you guys have all of this stuff to say, but you never once asked me what it would take for me to stay. Mm. Mm. And they and they were like, oh, well, well, you know, what will it take? I'm like, I'll stay if you could tell me the name of one person that you've personally coached to capping. Mm. Wow. And I walked out that same day. And what was the question? They couldn't again? tell me. What was the one person? I said, you- could, you, could you tell me the name of one person that you've personally coached to capping, to succeeding in this particular model. Wow. And they couldn't and then, tell me one. It was cricket. Wow. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's deep. Mm-hmm. And I, what I said was, I was like, you, you, you know, you're a woman, you're a powerful woman that's an owner. You know, you have, you, you have all of these resources. And I have, uh, out of 67 people, I think, 48 of them were women on my team and different, you know, various backgrounds and stuff like that. I was yeah. like, it's a shame that you've never even spoken to one of them to give them mm. the game. Mm. Wow. And I was That's like, we're supposed to be working together. Win, win, no matter what. Right. Right. That's right. And I said, you know, it, it's unfortunate that you, that, that you keep all the secrets, you keep all the money. You get, I said, that doesn't match up with what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something else. And here's a, another step, right? Yeah. When I first came over to EXP, I made a huge mistake, Tony. Okay. I thought that EXP was just going to be a better version of that last company that I was at. I see. Yeah. And I was so wrong. Mm. I was so wrong. Mm. I, I I had no concept of how big of a deal this was. Right. Right. Yeah. So uh, my my good friend Fee Gentry. One of the one of the top women at this organization, a partner, board of directors, et cetera, et cetera. They're people of color. They're women. They're this, that, and the other thing. Everybody shapes and sizes and leadership over here. Right. Right. That's right. And when I look at my business now, people are inviting me to different companies that have the same sort of model that I have. Yeah. And all I do is ask them. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I'm like. Who's in leadership over there? Can you explain the diversity in leadership over there? Wow. And everybody starts beatboxing. (laughs) (laughs) Uh So here's a hint, y'all. If you're trying to recruit me, Mm. a 200 million in production, you know, hundreds of deals a year, I coach agents, I kick in, I try. You better come at me with some leadership, diversity leadership. Yeah. Wow. I don't want to even hear it. I don't even want to have the conversation. I'm going to start at the top. Who's at the top? Mm. Uh, another old white dude? Okay, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is hilarious. But you know what? It's uh, it's real. So it's real. It's it's very real. And I that's one of the things that I have really, I mean, the collaboration and the diversity. And the willingness, the love, everybody is is there to empower each other. There's no, yes. yet yeah, it's so it's such a powerful feeling to be in an environment where everybody's working to help everybody up level and elevate. Okay, so everybody's kicking in. Yeah, 
everybody kicks in and and um and then you add the caveats of the the pillars of opportunities within the within the platform okay there's multiple pillars and and layers of opportunities so and you don't have to it ain't for everybody but you don't have to do it everything. ain't for everybody it's yeah it's not for everybody so but James. The, but but it it calls for a certain type of yes. mindset a certain type of yes. energy it, it's calling for that if you you you, you and it starts do at you, the top do you know james massey do you know james massey the name sounds very more he's out so he's a he's a powerhouse team leader uh uh sponsor down in atlanta okay. this brother said something i did an interview similar to this yeah with him yeah and he said something to me that changed the way i looked at the, my, the growth of my organization mm. he says i have a responsibility to every single soul that i've attracted to this model That's right mm -hmm. whether they're on his downline or not wow there you go so there you go. every day every mm. weekday Tony, between 8 a.m. and 11, Eastern Central, Eastern Time, well, Eastern Standard Time, I forget what it is. Yeah. I, uh, I do lead generation. I do high-level lead generation. Mm -hmm. And I open that up to any agent that wants to come on with me. Mm. Any agent that wants to come on and lead generate, you want to listen, you want to participate, you want me to listen to you. Wow. Anybody that goes... I, I, any agent that's talking to me about value, if I'm, if I'm comparing EXP to Keller or EXP to Remax or EXP to Weikert or whatever, wherever you are, yeah. I, I, as a attracting agent or a recruiting agent, I say, well, that's interesting. What is your broker or team leader? What are they doing? Mm -hmm. What are they showing you? What are they doing to help you to grow your business daily? Mm -hmm. And they're like, mm -hmm. well, you know, we meet once daily. a week and that, 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 that. I said, wow. no, daily. daily. And they're like, what do you mean? I was like, every single weekday, mm. I get on with my agents and I literally show them how to develop a deal that day. Wow. I said, can you tell me any place else where they're willing to do that? Mm. Mm. And it's crickets. Mm. <laughs> but like you said, it ain't for everyone. <laughs> no, no, it's not for everybody. But you know what? That's the, that's what... This is where the road meets the rubber, okay? This is where the road meets the rubber. It's the leadership. It's the consistency, you know? It's it's the consistency. It's not just like one time here and a little drop, maybe two weeks later or maybe a month later. No, when you're, when you're I mean, I, I'm, I'm, you're better than me because I'm telling you that is, that is, that's, that's serious, you know? That's a serious that and I love it, you know. I love it because who else is going to give you this this in intensity, this level of attention, this level of love? Let's just call it love, because yes, yes, man. You know that's 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 what this thing is all about. At the end of the day, right? And I have a I have a a business partner that says to me, "We give love and expect results." Hmm. So that's what it is. It's love and results. So, mm. so I think, in my in my humble opinion, I believe that accountability is the greatest form of love you could show. That's right. That's right. That's so beautiful. I'm gonna keep showing up every single day because I'm gonna do this. But I'm I, I'm tell you right now, I'm gonna <laughs> make my money. I'm gonna take care of my family. I'm gonna make those resources. I'm gonna that's hit right. my goals because I'm obsessed with it. Yeah. And if I can help you by showing up every day, then I'm going to do that. And if I made that commitment that I'm going to do that, mm. here's what I expect. Results. Mm. I don't expect BS. I don't expect. So I have mm. a high turnover rate. Yeah. Right. I got a high <laughs> turnover rate because I give you love and expect results. That's right. That's right. But, you know, that's 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 what you got to do. You know, that's, that's what, what you, you got to do. do. That's what you have to do. That accountability. So, mm, I'm the, listening. The I'm highest form, the highest form of 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 love, is accountability. Is accountability. Yeah, I love. I love that. I love that. Yeah, yeah, and that's that is. I'm so gra grateful you're sharing that with me because 
I'm going to use that, <laughs> you know, because I'm a big. I hope so. Uh, I, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm a big love person. Right. And people don't understand how deep that goes. You know, you, people hear the term love at surface level. Right. But when you when you tap in to the point where that accountability aspect of it, that's real. That's real. That's real. Yeah. And and it, what what we've discovered is that you know this isn't a difficult business. We we used to make fun of this is the easiest job to make a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. It's the hardest okay. business to be successful at. Right. Hardest business to be successful. Yeah. Yeah. So true. So true. We, we, we're stuck in the cycle. We've been taught and retaught and conditioned to believe that it is education, job, work your ass off till you retire. You know, we've just been taught this thing. Yeah. That, that is the highest form of success that you can make. Yeah. But when they step into this world, they almost step into this world as if they were an entrepreneur. And entrepreneurs are interesting. And I, I reject the fact that real estate agents are entrepreneurs. That's not, I don't think that's what we are. We are business owners, right? You yep. open a bakery. I don't care what the name of your bakery is. I don't care what your specialty is. You better start baking or else you don't have a business. <laughs> right? right? Yeah. yeah. You got cronuts, donuts, croissants, whatever it is you're making, you better start baking or you don't have a business. Yeah. And there's a simple recipe that you have to follow in order to be successful. You got to make sure that you got enough dough, that mm. it's given enough time to rise. Mm. You got to make sure that you get up early enough to turn on those ovens so that it has enough time to warm up, so yeah. that it has enough time to bake at the right temperature, so that it has enough time to cool, so that it has enough time to, to decorate, all before you open your doors. Wow. Yes. All before so, you open your doors, exactly. All before you open your doors. So you got a bunch of realtors that are getting on and they're like, okay, I'm here. So, <laughs> you know, yeah. tell me what to do. Mm. And I'm like, what you, what you have to do is before you sharpen that pencil, right? Before you get to the desk, you got to make mm. sure you practice your script. You got to make sure that you are, are proficient enough to know how to follow up. You got to make sure that your tonality is correct. You got to make sure that your mindset is right, right? You might, you got to make sure your mission is down. All yeah. of this, you got to make sure that you have your list together. You got to make sure that your phone is working the right way, that you got your right tools. Right. right? Yeah. But they so, just, I, I, I'm listening. I'm listening. No, no, no. Go ahead. That I was just thinking well, about those. Well, agents are calls. indoctrinated. Yeah, agents are indoctrinated into being employees, and our job, Tony, is to get them into employers. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's right. That's right. That's 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 key. So when you're doing mm -hmm. these 200 calls, your target is mm -hmm. 200 calls a day per day. A day. Every day. Must, Every day must I work. Have systems and resources that help you plow through those. Give me an. A, Give me an idea as to how that that's working. I'm cringing at a hundred so, calls a day. <laughs> but, so uh, it's it's actually it's actually simpler than we think. Okay. Uh, a contact for me is so so two hundred contacts a day. A contact for me is the two seconds that somebody picks up the phone and says hello and then hangs up on me. That's a contact. Yeah. Okay. Right. I have a lot of agents that look at a lead as if they were a contact. So they're looking for some sort of substantive conversation. I have seven substantive conversations a day, mm -hmm. right? But yeah. I have 200 con uh, uh, contact opportunities. So really quickly, and this is just real simple, 20 new FISBOs, 20 old FISBOs. Okay. 20 new expireds, 20 old expireds. That's 40 wow. right there. Wow. 20 new withdrawns, 20 old withdrawns, right? Interesting. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so, so we're looking, it, it, it's, it's, it really is not that difficult yeah. for me to hit that number. And then I make up the balance in either circle of influence or circle yeah. prospecting. Circle of influence, my friends and family, circle yeah. prospecting, 
where I call around. And then I hit my social media stuff where I'm, okay. you know, talking yep. to folks, doing live videos, et cetera, et cetera. And I've incorporated text messages in it. I make well over 200 contacts a day. However, mm. Tony, mm. 200 yeah. is my minimum. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so and thank we you for look breaking for, that down. See that breaking that my, down. My pleasure. That's that's gold for us. Okay. Because yeah. it, it, it most of us can't even conceive making 200 calls a day or 200 contacts. Okay. The, yes, that's yes. the magic word is contacts, right? So, and when you break it down in that way, oh, well, yeah, you can find 20 bisbos, you can find 20 expires, you can find 20, um, um, you know, withdrawn, people in your withdrawn, yes, expires, yes. right? So, the, by the time you do that, and then, and, and then, but the, the key is to be organized so that when you're hitting those calls, you know what you're saying, you know what. You, it, it's it's rolling. So you you got to prepare, right? Tony, the heartbeat prepare. of my business, the heartbeat of my business, yeah, is how well you practice. That's uh, it. Wow. So so there is one foundational principle with my coaching, with my real estate business, with my team, whatever it is, whatever I'm doing professionally, is yeah. if you're not doing a deal, you're practicing a deal. If you're not on a call, you're practicing a call. Mm. If you're not doing a presentation, you're practicing a presentation. Wow. Yeah. It's just it, 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 the, your success, just like if you're baking, your success relies on yourself and your practice. Just as if you was a surgeon, if you yep. were a, a painter, if you were, whatever you're doing, it relies on the practice that you put into it. No one at the highest levels of professionalism, accidentally got there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Not one person. That's right. That's real. Mm, mm, mm. So you've got mm. you've got your real estate business here, and then you've got your mm -hmm. coaching business here. Now, with your then you have EXP, which has all of these other arms and legs, right? Right. How do you? Because I'm, I can't imagine you're not participating with the revenue share aspect of the company. So that is a whole nother layer of uh, lead generation. It pays my mortgage. It pays my mortgage. <laughs> wow. Yeah. They I, see, um, see what I'm saying? I'm a little insane, but everything has its time and place on, on my schedule. I admit that most of my real estate business, I do a lot of transactions a year, but yeah. probably 99% of them are referrals. Okay. I refer them out. I okay. refer them to agents. I'll, I'll, I'll lead generate in your town, mm -hmm. right? Because I ran out of leads in New York, so I need to call leads in California. And mm. not and so, mm. so by the time I get to 11 o'clock, if I'm not, not at my numbers, I'll call leads in California and make it wow. up and just refer it to Tony. Wow. Wow. That is crazy. Unbelievable. Right. Like you are a machine. <laughs> well, I had to learn to become the machine, Tony, yeah. because before I was the machine, I had a lot of excuses. Mm. Oh, I mm. ran out of contacts or, or mm. I need to get some coffee. Or I got to go pee or yeah. whatever. All of those excuses. Mm. I don't want to look busy. As a matter of fact, I want to take it easy. I, my, my big, big, biggest why yeah. is I just want to sit in a hammock someplace and read my book and yeah. <laughs> talk treats to my dog. That's what I want to do. I don't, I don't want to do any of this stuff, right? And so I, I, I make fun. I'm the laziest busy dude in the world. <laughs> oh, right? So, so I, I, I practice with the agents all the time so I can leverage the agents. Mm -hmm. Right. I know what they're going to say because I practice with them all the time. Yeah. I refer business to agents all over the country because I work with them all the time. Yes. And so it's easy for me to trust and believe that that agent's going to do stuff. My vendors know what I expect from them because I freaking train them. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not yeah. working with a vendor that hasn't passed my criteria. OK. Yeah, that's right. Right. And so because I'm a lead generating agent because I look for business, 
I don't have to rely on gimmicks or, or, you know, somebody's handouts in order yeah. to, to eat for that week or that month. Tony, I believe in a deal a day. Wow. Yes. I believe yes. in a deal a day. Right. And short of a deal a day, I know damn well I'm going to do a deal a week. Mm-hmm. Like okay. if I'm shooting for a deal a day, even if I fail at a deal a day, I'm going to have a non-zero chance to win that week. Right. That's right. Right. And so, you know, I work 44 weeks a year. I don't know an agent that won't do 44 deals. I'm going to do many more than that. But in my yeah. market, the, the, the average commission is between 12, 10 and $20,000. Mm. If I do 44 deals, I'm making a little bit of money. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. I am like blown away. This is so exciting. So cool. And this you know, is how I coach, by the way. I, I know. I can feel that. I, I see that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I do I'm deal a day coaching. You. I'm gonna listen. <laughs> I'm gonna be calling you, okay? Because I need. To, I'll, I'll just. I'll just keep it real. I need somebody in my ass like you, okay? And 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 that we love. Yeah, <laughs> it's, you know it's crazy because you really have. To, I mean, the excuses we got to put them down, and we just have to get real, okay? And uh, yeah, so that's so so so. How do you? fold in well no it's easy i mean listen you're a magnet okay you're a magnet so the revenue share aspect of our our platform is it's almost like it's uh it, first of all it's an attraction thing because of mm-hmm. of the energy right and when and you're getting empowered i mean if people had any idea the magnitude of the platform that we were that we're working with it's like unlike anything i've ever seen okay it's unlike anything and it's the first time we have a platform where we have the opportunity to gracefully we can have a graceful exit right and the opportunity to make a difference in so many lives we, yes. we have a we have an opportunity to make a difference in so many lives and it started from the top. The whole objective yes. was to become agent centric. Make us, make us, make them own owners. Give them, you know, contribution for 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 uh, uh, participation. For, for, yes, exactly. For growth. For growth. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Well, so you know I, what's funny, Tony? I have an organization that's over three hundred and fifty agents strong. Right. Nice. But my circle, my first line is small. I got 11, I got 12 people in my first line. Wow. But 95% of my first line are qualifiers. 98% of my first line are qualifiers. Right. Now, here's what's real for me. My attractiveness, the the attraction that you talk about, I use for the agents in my downline. Yes. If yes. you want somebody working to help to build your downline, you would join my front line. That's right. That's right. right. And so it's a star chamber. I don't, I, I'm, you know, listen, I am only working with the people that are swimming towards my boat. Mm. That's right. I'm looking for people who are looking for me. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I I don't want to force you. I I got off the phone with somebody the other day that apparently was looking to to join EXP. um, And this was in October last year. She was looking to join EXP and she couldn't get anybody on the line or anything like that. And she says, oh, my God, I wish I had met you then. I would be there. Mm -hmm. And she's in some kind of contract with Berkshire Hathaway or or one of the other companies. Yeah. And I said to her, I was like, it's okay. You needed to experience that other company. That's right. Before you can appreciate where we're at. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and, and just the understanding that they're looking to trap you in a scenario. Mm. And all I want to do is set you free. Mm. Oh, wow. That's powerful. Mm. That, and that's it. I, 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 all I want to do is set them free. All I want to do is to see how far you can grow. And, and, 
you know, I, I don't have any kind of constrictive. Even in my coaching, I don't have any kind of restrictive. I would rather you go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I would rather you go. I would rather you not coach with me because like you said, I'm not for everyone. And I am incredibly, I am incredibly <laughs> obsessed with your success. So I have an unreasonable expectation of participation. <laughs> you can't, you can't yeah. miss more than one of my sessions. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's right. You cannot miss more than one of my sessions. I, it's a valuable, it's expensive. Mm, right. That's, like, that's right. Like we charge. Right. And so I charge <laughs> money because that seat, if you take that seat, that means that somebody else can't have that seat. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so I only work with the most motivated buyers, sellers and agents in the world. Um, I work with the best in the world. And and man, I love getting up. You know, you asked me about the balance between my my productive business, and my coaching business. I, I, I am by the skin of my teeth, sis. I am literally at the, the, the maximum amount of time I could spend doing this and still have a family. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You but know. that's being very, um, what is that thing called? It's called time box. Have you heard of time box? Yes. Yeah. Time blocking. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah. Yeah. Time box. But, but they, yeah, but it's time box, B-O-X. And uh, it is, it's a form of, uh, of time blocking and just really being, and, you know, I can see that with you. I mean, you've got this thing down to a science, literally. <laughs> it's down I to a science. I work with 40 agents a year. There's, mm -hmm. there's 40 seats a year. I have half hour one-on-one -on -one calls with those 40 agents. That's 20 mm -hmm. hours a week mm -hmm. that I could do it. And I'm going to, I'm going to, there's a million dollars worth of coaching y'all. The pandemic mm. set me free. Wow. Yes. Before the pandemic, agents wanted to meet in person face to face. Wow. wow. All of my meetings wanted to be in person, face to face, in person, in person, in person. My one-on-ones my -on are in person. When yep. you meet with somebody in person, that's 15 minutes of accolades and meeting and yep. greeting. That's another 10 yep. to 20 minutes waiting for them to park. That's right. A, like, so... I actually wasted so much time getting ready to start. Yeah. Yeah. Getting ready to start. And then I couldn't have agents back to back because mm -hmm. yep. they're going to overlap. Yep. I have a half hour meeting. I have 15 minutes of questions, yep. 15 minutes of, yep. of, of programming and off to the next one with respect. I love you. I got to go B. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, but you're right. The pandemic shifted every everything for a lot of us. Okay, and we what it did is it really bought us more time and energy. It bought us more time and energy because now we don't have to deal with the commute. We don't have, you know. I was talking to a colleague the other day. He's with a different company, and uh, known each other for the last fifteen years. And he, he specializes in multifamily, and. He's always been a high producer, but now his uh -huh. production has tripled since the pandemic because he now doesn't have to go out on these listing appointments. He's doing them through the Zoom, and then he's got a team of people who's running it on, on the pavement, right? So many of his clients, he's never even met in person, right? But it doesn't take away from his relationship. The relationship exactly. is still, you still have to manage and contain that relationship, right? For there's whatever a, there's a book called there's a book called Social Agent 2.0 or 2.0. Okay. It's a guy named Tony Giordano, I believe is his name, that mm. wrote it. I met him, dynamic dude, funny guy. And, you know, I always respect bald head and beards, right? So, uh, you <laughs> yeah. know, I'm not going to say why, right? But Tony Giordano says that the social media relationship, the one that you develop over social media, he's not talking about meeting your romantic relationship online or anything like that. He did allude to it, but he's just saying that the relationships that we develop, just friendships that we develop over yeah. social media are 10 times stronger than the ones that we develop in person. Wow. And the way that he That's supports this, he says that I meet you, Tony Patillo, and the first thing that I do is Google you or look at your social. 
and I yeah. see the books that you like, the movies that you like, the music that you like. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I like that book too, and this and that and the other thing. Blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, we're talking more often than mm-hmm. we would if we met each other at some networking event that is at the, the Marriott or something like that. Mm-hmm. It's just the truth. It's a fact. Mm-hmm. Wow. So I, I would I would go so far as to say your clients and customers and prospects get the benefit of meeting you online and getting to know you and getting to see there is social proof. Yeah. Tony, one of the first things that you said to me was you see my virtual walkthroughs. Yes. You're in California. Yes. You would <laughs> never see my market if it wasn't for the virtual market. That's the truth. That's the truth. I'm telling you, you're the only person I've ever seen do this. And I'm like, golly, this guy's, this is killer. You know, you, I, I, I'm telling you, I am so moved by, I, Seku, you are the dude, okay? <laughs> I'm telling well, you. We, we're doing it together. Your, yeah. your namesake just got in the car. Tony, yeah. Tony Dorch, meet Tony Patillo. Hi. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Good. I'm, I'm doing good, excellent. So, so, good, so good. nice to meet you. So nice to meet oh, you. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. So, uh, so here's, here's what's funny, Tony. And this is, yeah. this, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. There uh, are so many people out there, so many agents, so many brokers who can't wait for things to go back to the way they were. Mm. I can't wait to see what's next. Mm, exactly. I'm with you on that. But I love I these just, uh, you know, I love this. These yeah. markets, where this, this is where the real action happens. And this is, you know, this is why skillionaires become billionaires. <laughs> because you got to have the skill set to, to navigate in this market today. Okay. And this is where you can make and, and a, a lot of money. Hello. A lot. A lot. Of my, a lot. A lot. A lot. I'm going to yeah. take us a step further. I take a willionaire over yeah. a skillionaire and a billionaire. Because, see, the wow. agent that has the will to get this done is going to mm. figure out the skills necessary. It's going to figure out whatever right. is necessary. And if we could just be a little bit dumber, I'm going to mm. just keep going back to that. Mm-hmm. If we could just be a little bit dumber, you will ask the questions that are necessary to win. That's You're not right. going to assume what the answers are. You're going mm. to ask the questions that are necessary to win. Mm. And it, it, that's where I'm at. I'm like, how can I, how can I show more properties to more people? Well, mm-hmm. I've got 3,000 or 5,000 people in my friends list. Mm-hmm. Well, everybody else is telling you to, to do stuff on your business page. I said, I only got 200 people on my business page. I got right. 5,000 people on my friends list from yeah. around the world. Yeah. Why don't I just show them the property? Right. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. And so every day I show a property on there, somebody from somewhere in the country asks me about it. Mm. Oh, wow. That is wild. That is just wild. Tony, we have one job. We yeah. have, if there is one job that we have as realtors, it's to meet new people daily. That's my only yeah. job. Meet new people daily. So, that's it. And so I look at 200 contacts and I see how many of those contacts are new people. Yeah. Mm, that's wow. it. Yeah. That's powerful. But you know, the thing that really uh, stuck with me here that really hit me was the social proof with yeah. this social media thing. See, we, we've been operating from uh, an old, old, school, old school set, if you would, of thinking that, you know, you got to meet people in person. This is a different day and time. We're in a different time right now. This is, this is look at the, 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 the company that we are with is is a disruptor okay and it's a, a disruptor cloud based yes it's cloud based so what makes us think that building these relationships is going to stay back in the same format that it was previously we we have to turn with the times we have to turn with the make the shift with the with the with the ages with with, with the technology with all of this so I can really, you just brought that out with the social proof, with the whole thing, how this, you can develop a stronger relationship online than you can in person and at a networking event. And it doesn't mean, That's guys, it. it doesn't mean that you don't stop going to the networking events or that you stop showing no. up. No, 
person. But but what it does mean, and this is something I'm going to start doing. We have got to engage with the people that we have in our, our, our social proof. We've got to engage with them. We don't just we don't, you know, we look at we look at our social media and we're watching everybody, and there's we're seeing the likes and we're seeing the you know a comment here or there but we we've got to engage we've got to go back and engage in that with that person you know if you don't how do you build the relationship so and you don't and we yeah. gotta meet new people daily and how do you meet people you engage when you engage you ask questions you find out uh, it, it, it's just 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 be a little bit more dumb let's just be a little dumber Oh, what does that mean? What do you do? Oh, what is that? How do you do that? And oh my goodness, that's amazing. Are you remote or are you in person? I'm remote. So you can live any way you want. Yeah. That's so right. are you living where you want? Mm, 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 mm. Wow. What if every day you had at least one conversation like that? Yeah. How powerful is that? Mm. How powerful is that? You'd have a non-zero response every week. And then that means that every month you'd have uh, at least four to five transactions and, mm. and, and you'd be changing the world. You'd be yeah. changing the world. One conversation, one social media conversation at a time. Yeah. 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 Well, Seiko, I, I got to tell you, this, this, yeah. is, this has been off the chart, okay? It's been off we the chart. We're going to have a good time. Tony, I want to make an offer. Okay. I want to make an offer to your people, okay. right? So I don't have many coaching spaces available every year. Yeah. However, if your people want to one-on-one -on -one with me, um, I'm going to treat your downline as if they were my downline, right? So they get mm. the, the family discount. Mm -hmm. But if they're outside of EXP and they just want to, they, they follow you, Tony, and they want to, you know, get some coaching with me, I'm yeah. gonna treat them like they're your that like they're your people, okay? So we're gonna mm -hmm. we're gonna really work things out. But what I'm moving towards nowadays is group is team coaching. Yes. I okay. only have five team coaching slots available. And man, that team coaching, if I get everybody on your team doing two extra deals a month, that yes. changes the life of everybody on your team and that changes the dynamic for your team. Yes, for sure. Absolutely. And so if they mention your name, Tony, I'm going to treat them like they was you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like, I, I, well, I appreciate that, number one, and, I, and grateful for that. Uh, I feel like I might need to be one of those persons, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, well, yeah, you, you know. You're related to me, so, so you know, we, we're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it regardless, right? <laughs> Right. Well, I appreciate the offer, and and you know, it really. Um, I I got to tell you this, it is time to level up. You know, we 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 have a responsibility. By the way, we have, we have a, a respons responsibility. We have a responsibility to do good and be positive, and to motivate and inspire and make a difference in as, as many lives as we can across the board. Yes. Whether that's our yes. clients, buyer seller clients, or whether that's our investors, yeah. or whether that's our, our, our agent uh, body. We have a responsibility to make a difference in, in as many lives as we can. So I, I, I appreciate you and uh, we're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna, we're gonna keep, keep doing, doing it. it. We're gonna keep doing it. Um, I promised to give away a million dollars worth of coaching on your call, so I'm mm. going to give a million dollars of coaching away on your call. You ready? You, yes. All right, so anybody in the sound of the voice, I'm going to tell you right now, this is a million dollars worth of coaching. Mm. I want you to text, call, communicate with your friends, and I want you to make them an offer. Mm. And the offer is simple. I'm going to help a bunch of strangers this year with their real estate. It's insane if I don't offer you the same level of service. <laughs> so how will I help you make a great real estate decision this year? Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow, that's powerful. That's that's you a send that's it to a, him, that's text a, it to him, email. That's it. Yeah. You know, you have a you have a challenge 
And I want to, I want to rock that challenge. <clears throat> That's the challenge. Oh for, yeah. Uh, what's the name of it again? It's the the contract uh, by Friday challenge. Yes, contract by Friday challenge. I really want to rock that challenge. I want my All right, team so this to is rock what I'm that. Do. I, I want the team this to rock that do. challenge. Yeah, I'm going to invite you to the call. So what's 9.15, 9.30 my time, 8, 7, 6, 15, 6.30 your time. Do you think you could get okay. your guys on for five minutes at 6.30? I think so. Yeah. yeah okay. Absolutely. So at nine at 9.30 Eastern, uh, you know what? I'll do it for 10. So, so, so get them on at 7. If we can get them on at okay. 7. Okay. If we get a better participation at 7, we'll do it, right? Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to get them on this Friday, tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to lay out the challenge for next week. Okay. But Tony, you, you, you got me at a good time because mm -hmm. starting March 1st, so next Wednesday, yeah. we're doing March to a million. So each person mm -hmm. in my ecosystem, each agent in my ecosystem is going to put a million dollars worth of business under contract in the month of March. I love it, it transforms their business. So this yes. this contract a week challenge is mm. leading up to March to a million. I'll give you the, the Zoom link and they can join it. Okay. Okay. And so this will be for tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning at at uh, seven a.m. your time. Okay. So I'll make it ten a.m. and at ten okay. a.m. I'll give the instructions for next week's uh, challenge. That's awesome. I love this. I love it. Oh, uh, this is one of my favorite things to do is changing the lives of agents through mm. production. Mm -hmm. And who says EXP doesn't have any production? <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, I'm like, they don't even realize that this is, well, anyway, need I say anymore? We wrote, we wrote 30 different contracts this week. Mm. with the contract by Friday challenge. Uh -huh. 30 different contracts is written this week with 12 me, agents. And, and I bet you got agents from all over the country. Yes, ma'am. Atlanta, Tennessee, uh, uh, Florida, New York, New Jersey, uh, Connecticut, Michigan. Mm. Mm. We wow. did it all. Wow. One second, because I'm yeah. almost done. What floor are we going to? The second floor. I'll be right there. Okay. I'll be right there. You got a mask? Yeah. Okay. To my mama. So sweet. I love That's her. right. That's right. Take care of you, mom. Um so I'll give you the I'll give you the link. They're welcome to come. Um we're gonna do a registration for the the March to a million. And Tony, one more thing. I mean, I I don't know if you have time for this, but sure. March 6th through the 10th, we're doing our flagship program. We're doing the Appointment Academy for five days. Okay. Now, the Appointment Academy is something that I started years ago where we all got together and we put our BS on the shelf and lead generated together with a mission of setting more appointments than we've ever set in a single, you know, city. Yeah. And so what the Appointment Academy is, is the day in the life of the most productive agents in the world deconstructed over five days. So each day is a different hour of the day for that agent. Mm. From prep to lead gen to follow up to, uh, you know, uh, uh, presentation mm. and beyond. Yeah. So every single day we add on a little bit more. So we start with prep, then we lead gen, then the next day we go prep, lead gen, lead follow up. Then the next day we go, we go prep, lead gen, lead follow up, and mm. present, you know, wow. practice, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Um, every single agent that does it, every single agent that does it, has got no less than ten appointments, two appointments a day. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. We do hundreds of millions of dollars worth of business as a result of those five days. So that's a paid. That's a, that's a, I, I have to cover the, the cost of the pre, you know, sure. of the platform. Sure. So agents are paying to be a part of it, but they make, so like, it's like 250 bucks to yeah. make 250,000. You know what I mean? Right. Like it's, yes. it's, it's yes. insane. Wow. You know, that is, 
That so that's powerful. March 6th through the 10th. Okay. I love you. I, I love I, you. I love this. I love this. Man, we are rocking this thing. So uh, I got to, well, thank God we're recording this. I'm going to have my people get my team on in the group. This is going to be one of those things where I'm saying, you have to do this. Yes, this is a must do. This is not negotiable. Yes, you guys have to do this. This is a gift. This is my gift. <laughs> this is, you know, this is, <laughs> I, you, you want to, you want to be in this business, then you, you got to make a commitment. Okay. You got to be, a, you got to make a commitment. You got to get off your, your tail and get out of the excuse world and then get busy. Okay. So uh, 7 a.m. And then March, it's March 6th through the 10th. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. And that's the mil million million dollar March. That's or something. No, no, no. So so March first through the thirtieth. So the whole month of March we're doing the March to a million. Okay, March to so a million. So each agent is okay. gonna that's a free program. They don't have to pay for that. That March to okay. a million is a free program. Okay. Uh participation is the only admission, right? So once you stop right. participating and, and are accountable, you're yeah, out. Yeah, you're you're out. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. But yep. the, the appointment academy is a focused, guided lead generation. Like people call it a boot camp. I don't call it a boot camp. It's a habit forming scenario. If yeah. we just form the habit of doing this, it's a three and a half hour day every single day that we do it. Yep. And I only lead gen three hours a day. Right. So I have mm -hmm. a half hour of, of coaching in there, et cetera, et cetera. We, um, <laughs> Look, I, I, I'll I'll do my best to steer you guys into some of the older ones so you can see some of the ones that happened. We got social proof. Wow, nice, nice. Okay. March to a Million has launched no less than six top producing careers in the last mm. three years. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. March to a Million, got it. March to a Million. All right, so tomorrow is the, the, the Deal by Friday Challenge. Yeah. Wednesday starts March. Wednesday the first starts the March to a million, and the sixth Monday the sixth through Friday the tenth is the Appointment Academy Spring twenty twenty three. Um, you know the Appointment Academy is is you can Google it. There's tons of videos. People are always you know shouting accolades for the Appointment Academy. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Oh. Thank you so much, man. That was a Thank that you was for having a billion dollars worth of coaching in this hour and 20 minutes, okay? And I'm super yeah. grateful, super grateful. Thank you. I'm I am late. I am late for my next meeting. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank love you. Love you later. Bye. Love you. Bye.